a small analysis from a cheap white lead bicycle lamp. This one. I found that <coughs> when I dissected the lamp that we had here two small uh, lithium batteries each uh, giving 3 volts and these batteries were in series so we have here 6 volts and that's the reason why I uh, have drawn here these two batteries each 3 volts this is the type of uh, battery CR2032 210 milliampere hour 3 volt lithium battery and here we have in the small bicycle lamp a black box and I've tested it with um, my oscilloscope and I found I could not find any uh, oscillator unit here and that's quite peculiar because when I connect here to this um, small lamp an earth circuit so here to earth or here the LED stops stops uh, lighting up quite strange I want to show that now I have here the wiring this is the crocket oh, sorry this is the banana uh, clip and when I touch with this banana clip here the ground the whole circuit stops and that's quite strange and when I look at the same time on the oscilloscope I see something happen but I cannot see any oscillation so I don't know what this black box here now in the middle of the screen does this black uh, box here uh, I don't know what kind of uh, electronics are inside this box but um, such a circuit is of course very usable and um, the LED lights up very clear. At the moment I'm supplying the LED with 5.1 volts and we go up now to a higher voltage, 6 volts. This is 6.1. It's a very, very bright blue or white LED. So the whole circuit has very good properties, apart from the problem that it takes quite a high current, and it's visible here. It takes approximately 50 milliampere. So your batteries, these small uh, button cells, uh, will not last for a very long time and in fact they are not suitable for such a bicycle LED to uh, make it light up for a very long time say one month or so they are too small but anyway the whole circuit is a quite successful circuit and of course when you want to supply such a white LED, uh, take this unit here and here you see a sort, a sort of comb like structure and that is a switch and this switch uh, switches by means of conduction and the conduction is realized by this very, sorry, very small piece of white rubber and this rubber conducts electricity. So when this rubber touches this comb like structure, uh, a contact is made. 
and that's the way that uh, these circuits switch on and off. You can also do that with a wet finger. When you touch the LED, it switches on, it switches off, it flickers. All the functions that are in this small uh, black uh, box, electronic circuit, are activated now by touching the the comb like structure with your finger. So when you solder here a wire through all these, through this comb like structure, the LED will uh, uh, permanently burn or per permanently uh, burn not. That depends, of course, on how the manufacturer has made this circuit. But it's something to try. So don't throw your uh, old LED unit from your bicycle away. Um, do some tests. Uh, solder for instance here a wire and perhaps you will get this whole circuit working for a much longer time. And also when you replace these two uh, small uh, uh, button cells by bigger cells. So real, um, sorry, real batteries like this. When re you replace such a 3 volt cell by two of these batteries, you can have much more fun from your bicycle lamp for a very, very long time, perhaps months.